So, guess which sports commentator made fun of someone who was depressed after after their brother committed suicide? For all you new people who have just clicked off the video, or for all you new people who are actually staying, I thank you. Okay, actually, on to the actual story. So, since I am perfect all the time and never give any wrong stories, never have I ever done that, um... Um, I know what it's, I don't know what it's like to, uh, get a story wrong, but me having all these pa supernatural powers, I can, you know, say, go into the mind of someone who has. So, there's two types of depression, really. It's more, one is having a tragedy strike, like a fam family member dying, or, say, or, um, or just constant, uh, harassment and things like that. Family member dying, something awful happening to a family member, something like that. Anything like that. Got it? And then there's the other one, a genetic trait, known as depression. This is due to chemical imbalances and you basically can't produce dopamine. In other words, the thing that makes you happy. Now, there is a cure, kind of. I mean, there's no cure, but there is a way to help. And that's to dope yourself up. Yeah, that's it. So, imagine this, right? You and uh, your sibling, or your dog, uh, or your mother, or someone who you love very much dearly, anybody, uh, kills themselves. What would you do? Um, most of you can probably not even think of what you do. Some of you probably would be so desecrated by it that you'd commit suicide because... Well, you just can't stand with to live without uh, whoever they are. And probably guaranteed that all of you would done. What could I have done to change this? Uh, maybe if I called him a few hours ago, if I, if I, no, just get your mind out of that area. Mm. Mm. Oh, God, I feel, I, I feel so awful right now because I'm telling you, don't dwell on it, but also, mm. okay, um, personal story, I suck at everything, basically, I, I have no fine motor skills, and, well, if clumsiness is hereditary, um, they, uh, they find it in me, um, so, uh, yeah, so, I sometimes get uh, so angry with myself that I can't do basic things. I literally just shut down all functions, including breathing. And then I'm forced to, you know, make myself breathe. Except uncontrollably. Oh, and also everything else won't work. Or it'll start to twitch. And that happened uh, last weekend. So, yeah. But, yeah, so, let's just go use this as an example. You feel like you can't even do the most basic things. And there's this little voice in your head saying, Why can't you do this? Come on, keep doing it. And, well, what it's really doing is preventing you from doing it. So, now, basically, imagine this, except with the death of a brother. And imagine it happening for months, and months, and months, and months, and if you're famous, I knew even look on the news for sports, uh, your name here's brother has just died. And you get reminded of it, again, and again, and again, and just ignore the voice in your head saying, what have you done? Except that your brother's dead. And attempt to move on. Nothing will ever be the same. But... That's the only way you can... Well, live with it. Okay, now for the actual scumbag of this video. So, um, shoot. An ESPN, uh, sports commentator... Scumbag is Skip Bayless. Uh, so, Skip said, uh... 
I, you shouldn't uh, show a weakness because football's a football's a, a sport where people will take advantage of you. Yeah, shut up. You know, ten guys tend to be more lenient in your favor if you know you you say you you know just lost a family member. Okay, you come upon two people, right? Two people, and. You, and they're both asking you to give, um, to give, uh, a dollar. And it turns out you only have one dollar. So, and, well, they're right ab- around the block. They're uh, around the block from each other. So none of them could each either hear you or see you. But you both know they exist. Now, one has a, uh... Has a um has a sign that says I have cancer. I only need one dollar for uh I only need ten more dollars for treatment, and the other one says I'm hungry. Give me food. Both are suffering, but one has uh one's worse. So what'd you do in the situation? I'll leave that up to you. But according to Skip, uh if you're if you're famous. Uh, you should not give money to either. You're not allowed to be compassionate. So, th- um, there's arguments so stupid, it's hard to argue against them because they're that stupid. This is one of them. And so, according, also according to Skip, if you have money, you have to show no human emotions. So I agree that human emotions can be stupid sometimes. Which is why I try to minimize them in certain things. Except for empathy. That's the one emotion I will never get rid of. I mean, the emotions I try to get rid of are anger, frustration, a lack of confidence. Um, but other than that... Empathy, I will never get rid of unless it's a frickin' murderer, psycho, rapist bitch. Jesus Christ. Or it's someone who, say, you know, framed someone for suicide, then misled his brother to think that, or frame, uh, murdered someone, then told his brother that, uh, or then told the person he killed his brother that your brother just committed suicide. Then I will show no empathy for you, and I hope you rot away in a cell. But, you know, the stupidest part of this is you don't have to justify depression. It's like cancer. I mean, what are you going to say? Well, you didn't touch... Well, you didn't touch anything, so your cancer is not... It's not legitimate cancer. No, shh. No, we don't judge people because, you know, they have cancer, even if they're playing in the highest level. So why should we judge them for depression? But also, is the, is the money really worth it just to, you know, you know, say someone, to say to someone, yeah, you can't show emotion because you're rich? Is that really worth the money? And also, you look like a frickin', you look like a lizard scales was crossed with a human. And then was given, and then was given Botox in their, well, in the wrong place and missed. So what I encourage you to go do right now, find your local suicide awareness, donate to it. Unless you know you don't have any money. Oh, I just realized how much I sell on my Twitch streamer. If you have five dollars, just go donate to me. If you don't have five dollars uh, to sub to me, uh, then then you should be working, not watching Twitch. If if you don't want to go donate to me, well, you're not supporting the content you like. No, but this is actually for a good cause, not some e thought doing whatever the whatever she did with the simps that donated the money. So, um, go find your local can- uh, can- uh, uh, depression awareness, suicide awareness charity. Donate to it. Donate to it. Got it? Now. Guess what? This is basically like saying, oh, you're rich? 
Oh, you can't have a disease if you're rich. I mean, come on. You have money to make, not get diseases. Yeah, that's how stupid this situation is. I'm sorry I'm beating uh, you over the head with this, but it doesn't matter. Don't say people don't deserve to have, you know, have uh, actual human empathy if their brother just uh, committed suicide. And now you, and now, uh, and now you say, well, you can't have that because you're, because you're playing football. So, in conclusion, don't be an idiot. Oh god, I just realized this is barely, barely over 10 minutes, and a video bye!